Hello guys. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bukumi VK Crown. Hope you guys are feeling good. Hope you guys are blessed like a new baby. So, guys, I'm here with a guest. His name is. My name is Buga Twiluchi. Super excited to be here. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you. So, guys, we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be checking out those country for the very first time. Like, I need to learn more about some countries, you know. So, this time around, is Norway. So, amazing reasons why Norway is the best country to leave wow i can't wait to know why norway is one of the best countries to live let's watch it's no question that norway is an incredibly beautiful country located within europe right next to sweden it is full of rich history beautiful cities and happy people there are endless reasons why Norway is regarded as one of the top countries to live in. Some of these include low crime rates, very happy citizens, and free education. There are many advantages to this beautiful country, especially if you are an outdoors person, you will be in your element. Today, we'll be taking a look at why Norway is the best country to live in, and trust me, once you hear these, you'll wish you lived in Norway. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini or MacBook Pro, it's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. One, it's rated one of the happiest places on earth. Now, in my opinion, this is the best reason to move to Norway. Who wouldn't want to be surrounded by happy people? The United Nations in 2013 released the World Happiness Report and Norway came in second place. This report surveyed 165 countries and based its findings on a number of factors, including freedom, social support, life expectancy, and overall health. Health. When Norwegians were asked to express their life satisfaction, rating it from 0 to 10, the average answer was 7.5, which is higher than the international average. Additionally, the life expectancy average is 81, which is much higher than the average international life expectancy of 71. Maybe you could contribute this to them being such a happy group of people. This emphasizes just how advanced Norway's healthcare system is and how well the Norwegian government treats their people. 2. Most people speak English. If you decide to move to Norway, you don't have to worry too much about learning the language because in this modern day, many Norwegians Norwegians know how to speak English and often speak English amongst each other, but I encourage you to learn their language, especially if you are moving there. Norwegians are all taught English at school. It's a part of the curriculum and compulsory for many. It's suggested that you learn the language and many say it takes three years to learn Norwegian. Lots of people take university courses to get fluent in the national language, but the best part is for citizens and residents, university education is free because it's state funded. We'll touch on this a little bit later on in the video. Three, healthcare is more or less free for everyone. Once you have officially become a legal resident in Norway, you can apply for free public health care. According to WHO, the World Health Organization, the health care in Norway is ranked in the top 15, number 11 to be exact, in the world, whereas USA is ranked at number 38. Initially, you'll have to pay a max of $21 per doctor visit until you reach a cap of $1,800. Then the doctor visits will be free. You have to pay for medicine, but a very small price. 4. Norway has a low crime rate. This will blow your mind, but there are only about 4,000 prisoners in Norway prisons, and the re-offending crime rate is extremely low. I know, only 4,000. I was taken back as well. The low crime rate is all thanks to Norway's enlightened approach on how they treat prisoners. They give prisoners trust and responsibility. They treat them like real human beings and provide them with training, rehabilitation, and skills that'll help them thrive in the real world, in turn avoiding crimes and re-offending. Norway and many other European countries are already living so much further in the future than the majority of other Western countries. Why aren't we following Norway's lead and implementing these strategies to reduce crime globally. 5. Norway is known to be very family friendly. If you're starting a family or have children and you're thinking about relocating to Norway, then do it. Norway is famous for its family friendly policies. When a family has a newborn, the father is eligible for up to 12 weeks paid leave during the first three years of the baby's arrival. Why is this not a thing everywhere? Retiring in Norway is also extremely nice compared to other countries around the world. If you fulfill certain requirements during your lifetime, citizens over the age of 67 will receive a state pension of $1,000 per month. What? I know. Why are all governments not doing this? Six, it is known as the birthplace of skiing. If you're a winter fan and have deep love for the slopes, then Norway is the perfect place for you. You can ski in Norway for six months out of a year, and you can even find snow in Norway during the summer. Seven, the outdoors. If you're an outdoors 
cheese lover, then Norway is the place for you. The country is so fresh and green. In the warmer months, you can find amazing hiking trails and places to visit. In winter months, many partake in winter sports, skiing, snowboarding, and sledding. There's always something new to explore due to the unique fjord landscape. Norway has over 100,000 lakes, with one of those being the deepest lake in Europe. You can also see the northern lights from Norway. Now that has to be my favorite part. I've always wanted to see the northern lights. Eight, Norway is shifting towards a more multicultural society. Since the brutal mass shootings in Norway, fatally injuring 77 people, they have showed their commitment to creating a multicultural, inclusive, and fair to all society. There is about 16% of Norway's 5.2 million population who are defined as immigrants, and this number is expected to climb to 20% in the next 10 years. Majority of people migrate to Norway for working opportunities, asylum, and higher education. It is obvious to see how well Norway treats its people and makes you question why these methods aren't being used all over the world. It seems like it could solve so many issues and problems that the world is currently facing. 9. Norway has the highest number of electric cars. 32,000 electric cars are driving around the streets of Norway, which is the highest rate per capita globally. One of the reasons for the rise in electric car purchases is that the government has offered multiple incentives, including tax breaks and free parking to those car owners. Free parking! I would be buying myself an electric car as soon as I could for free parking. Some of the benefits from the increase in electric cars is the significant drop in air pollution. Electric cars are also allowed to use bus lanes, so they're never clogging up the road. This has to be one of my favorites. It's so innovative and forward-thinking. Countries across the globe should be looking at Norway and taking notes. 10. A high level of education. Wow. Amazing, guys. Um, the part that actually really got me surprised was when they said, as a family person, when you move to Norway, they will give you a leave. If, you give, if your wife gives birth, as a man, they'll give you a leave three, um, 12 weeks. 12 weeks, that's um, three months, right? Yeah. That's three months. Like, it's interesting. Like, you've been given a leave of three months really bond with your baby. They're like, try to help your wife. Based on the fact that she just gave birth. Wow, that's really interesting. And the crime rate, too, over there is kind of low. Like, it's telling me that only 4,000 prisoners are in. Well, I don't know which year he actually filmed this video. But as far as when he filmed this video, due to his, his research, he said there are low crime that then it was 4,000 prisoners you would see, like in the prison in Norway. What do you think about the country? Well, I've, I've followed Norway for some time. I actually applied to some of their schools for my higher education because mm. it's, it's wonderful. The, the wow. way they treat prisoners, their prison is more even like way more countries are living in, uh, yeah. you know, the way they treat people, a lot of incentive for citizens, so definitely that's why it's called yeah, one of the happiest countries on it. Mm. So yeah, they are really, really doing well. Exactly. Um, I mean, really, really impressed. Yeah. Like, wow. I'm so impressed. Guys, let's keep watching. Norway has an incredible education system from start to finish. It's estimated that the Norwegian government spends over 6.6% of its GDP on education, which is actually the highest globally. Creativity is highly encouraged in schools over there and because of their general high quality of life and general culture, the dropout rate is extremely low. What shocked me the most when researching Norway was that university education is free. Free! Students in Norway are encouraged to study secondary education and you can only imagine if majority of citizens become university graduates, then the economy is thriving. 11. Norway isn't overcrowded. Norway has a population of just 5 million. This is about 14 people per square kilometer, which means there is an abundance of space for everyone. Compare that with a country like Hong Kong, where there is a massive 6,400 people per square kilometer. That really puts things into perspective. So if you're tired of being around so many and want to live somewhere where you can have lots of space, then Norway is the way to go. 12. You can camp anywhere. Norway has a special law in place that gives you the right to go camping and set up a tent anywhere. Now, if you're into camping and hiking, Norway is the place for you. It also makes things much cheaper for travelers, and it's probably the best way to see all the natural wonders Norway has to offer. 13. Great care for workers. If you're a worker in Norway and a resident or citizen, then you can be assured if anything happens to your job, the government will take care of you. If you fall ill, the welfare system will make sure you and your family is taken care of. The government sometimes provides financial support for over a year to some citizens. The government is giving 58 billion to unemployment, sickness benefits, pensions, child benefits, and work assessment allowances. It is clear to see that 
Norway treats its people extremely well. They understand that for your society to thrive, you must make sure the people in your country are happy. 14. Be a part of a booming economy. Norway has offshore oil fields and gas, which has made the country very wealthy. The government uses a large chunk of this money for public welfare, making life much easier for the residents of Norway. The National Pension Fund is worth $376 billion. Compared to other countries, this is incredible. Norway would be a great place to retire. They also have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the world, which makes this country very productive. This productivity means a lot of benefits for the people, including free health care. 15. Norwegians are top spenders. This really isn't a selling point. Well, maybe for some, but just a cool fact about Norway. Majority of Norwegians earn a high wage rate, which in turn means that they are spending a lot of money. You could say that they definitely have expensive taste and a high standard of living, but you would too if this was your normal. Norwegians even spend more money than Americans. Crazy, right? But you have to take an account when comparing to other countries. Many services are free in Norway, many that would cost thousands for people around the world. In other words, healthcare, university education, etc. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll That's see you insane. in the next one. <laughs> because mostly things are kind of free, you no know, education and the rest. So, no wonder they can spend. It's like, it really came to me as a shock. I didn't know that Norway is such a great country like this. Like, woo, amazing. Yeah, Norway, it's, it's, the, the government are really doing a very good job making mm. sure the citizens are okay. You can see low crime rate compared to America every single time you're yeah. getting uh, mass shooting and the rest of that. So the people, the way the, they are putting different incentives to make sure everything stays in place. You know, even though some people, they always be miscrants and the rest of that, but then they are doing their job as a government to make mm. sure people are happy, make sure people are safe, make sure they are well educated. A lot of things in America, you spend a whole lot of healthcare and education. They are getting it for free, you know, where they're bringing in different things to make their lives better, improve their living, of course, because you can see electric cars have been brought in. If you yeah, use electric cars, you don't pay for parking, you use the bus lane, so there's less traffic and the rest of that. So they're making mm. sure people move to a greener Norway, you know, compared to other countries where more of um, engine oil, um, fuel, or petrol um, cars, cars and yeah. a lot of pollution. and. So Norway is really doing a very good job. Mm. But one thing I want to ask guys is that is the education really free, free, free? Like, I don't understand what it means by free. Is it that it's not that expensive? It's, it's affordable, actually free. Or is it free, free? It's actually free, yeah. Wow, interesting. Then I'm surprised why their population is still low. Like, why? Okay, so one thing, especially in Africa, most people wouldn't want to go to, they don't, most people don't know the way they speak English. They feel they speak this kind of, mm. kind of um, language and um, they wouldn't want to go there because of the language. And more, more people hear more about the UK, US, and yeah, the Canada, they used to, want to go countries. There, a lot of money. You know, this one is an Europe country, yeah. yeah. So they want Ooh. to go to where they know, where they are. Yeah, they have not really made with, yeah, research about with. Norway. Well, going to Norway is a big boost if you're going to Norway. And there was a part the guy said that um, before you can learn their language, it can take you three years. Yes. Ha! That means the language will be really, really tough. It's like Scandinavian, you know. Like you see Hi. those days, Finland, Sweden, they have kind of similar language to about. Mm. Yeah, I think. Amazing. Like, I really learned a lot of new stuff about this country. And I can't wait to actually visit one of these years. Definitely, I would love to go there, you know, to see for myself and experience some things. I don't know. I think you two should do so. Definitely, I, I, I already applied for a school. Oh, uh, and yes, amazing, amazing. Good luck on that. <laughs> so, guys, this brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more, like, share, and comment. And I'll be dropping his channel link in the description box for more reaction videos, guys. Thank you for sticking to this time. See you in the next one. Bye.